Hey, welcome to my channel where I teach the Bible and hope you'll subscribe, hit the bell, make comments and all those things help me get this out to more people. This is a message that I call the seed among thorns. It's from Matthew 13, verse seven and verse 22. And um, hope it's a blessing to your life. Hope that it lifts you up. In 1992, a long time ago, <clears throat> I planted grass in my backyard in Porterville, California. We had just moved up here from San Diego and I didn't use sod, but I planted seed in the dirt in my yard. Now, I had more than grass growing in the yard. <clears throat> Weeds grew with the grass, the nature thing. We have dark dirt. It was some of the best dirt in the world for farming up here. But, it, but weeds grow in it, too. Without weed and feed, the weeds would have taken over the yard, resulting in a yard of weeds, not a yard of grass, which I ended up with a yard of grass because of weed and feed. Jesus used just such an example for the farmer planting his wheat in, in ancient uh, Israel. Look at Matthew 13, verse 7, the words of Jesus as he teaches us. Other seed fell among thorns, which grew up and choked the plants. Some farmer goes out and he plants his seed, and probably wheat or barley. That's typically what they use to eat, a lot of barley. Some seed falls in areas where thorns or weeds grow up, and the thorns or weeds will grow up and choke the plants, and the weeds will take over. That happens. <clears throat> so what is the point of the spiritual teaching that he's getting at? What's he getting at? Matthew 13, 22, Jesus explained it to us. <clears throat> the one who received the seed that fell among the thorns is the man who hears the word, but the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth choke it, making it unfruitful. This is the guy who hears the word of the, the word of the gospel, the word of the kingdom. He hears the gospel about Jesus dying in, in his place, paying for his sin, and Jesus being raised from the dead to give him life forever. That's good news. And hes <clears throat> he might even receive that. So what happens? The worries of this life, <clears throat> excuse me, and the deceitfulness of wealth become like weeds in my grass. And they choke out the seed of God's kingdom. All the worries and all the problems of life. This is the guy who may even come to Christ. But his career and amassing wealth consume him. And for long, they, they choke out the commitment to Christ or worries about life, difficulties. I think about all the people around the world right now who are hurt, who, who are hurt by inflation and the cost of everything going up, certainly going on in this country. I pay $5 for gas where I live. These things are worries of this life and they can consume you if you let them. The worries of life can choke out the wheat, they can choke out the rule of Jesus as Lord. You can't let them do that, but they can, they will work at it, okay? Trust me, all these things affect me too. They affect all of us. But I, I work at adding what I call spiritual weed and feed to kill the weeds, okay? We all need to do that. The spiritual weed and feed is a steady daily diet of God's word, and a regular daily time of disciplined prayer. It will kill the weeds of the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth and lead to you being surrendered to Jesus as Lord and making it, okay? So I hope you'll subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and share this message with someone else who can really be helpful to them.